Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad to sit here. I thought the other days that if I would sit here, I know a lot of things to say. Now they're all gone. So, <laughs> but but there, there are so many things I would love to say because this is such, such an incredible thing happening to me. So uh, it's really hard to talk about it actually. So um, before I met Balance You, I had, I had a really wonderful life. I had a wonderful family and I had everything. So we had enough money, I had enough to eat. I could go to schools. I, I was supported, I um, had a lot of friends and so on, but um, when I was 16 I was always lying on my sofa in the afternoon and trying to think beyond the barriers, so beyond all these cages that are around us and most of the people around me thought I'm crazy, but um, yeah, I always felt this curtain in front of my, my eyes so that sometimes when I was really relaxed I could see through and then they came on again. And so I tried to become a natural scientist to just take data and facts and to have something I can hold on. So because all these other things were so yeah, strange and frightening in a way, I think. And yeah, so I just got used to this kind of life. So I just said, okay, this is it. Now that's how it's going. And then everything broke down. So my marriage broke down. Uh, really, really important people from my family died, and uh, my children left home to go, go do their own life, and my work broke down, so everything that I have built up broke down. I had to sell my house, everything was gone, I thought. <laughs> and everything was there, everything was there. So this was the best thing ever happening to me. I can even say that the death of my brother is a really good thing happening to me because he's still here. And um, so I had my, <laughs> my wonderful niece who introduced me into Balance You and this was just, yeah, yeah, bringing everything into order in a way. So giving me the strength to look at things I always saw but try to ignore and now I look at, at my science totally differently. Now I can see such a lot of these miracles in biology that, um, that I always saw just as something you have to clarify, you have to learn about it instead of just admiring it and just wait until you see what's going on. So I still do my experiments and try to find things out because I think this is just a lot of fun. And, <laughs> and it's wonderful to teach people and to see how they are growing too. My, my students and my PhD students, they are all growing. And, and I can see how much this training affects my teaching and, and the work in my group. And, and I, think, I think now I'm really, really a good boss in a way. I think they, they all, even boss shouldn't be liked, I think they like me. <laughs> <laughs> But everything's working fine, so this is, this is really, really amazing. And um, the short moments were really, really important for that. So to sit there, when some people sit in front of you are really raging with something. And before, I always went into it and said, oh, this is something happening, now I don't know what to do, so we have to find something, and oh, what is this? And now I can just really sit there with automatic short moments and say, look, we look for the solution now. Nothing's happening, everything's fine. And then everyone's calming down. So this is, <laughs> this is incredible. Even my colleagues, who always love to fight, you know, they, they stop fighting. <laughs> they really stop fighting. It's, it's really incredible. People in the street, I never saw before, just smile. <laughs> it's really incredible. And, and this, this community where so many people here, um, that I never talk to, and I see them, and I love them. And I know they love me, so this is, this is just sure, <laughs> just easy. You just look at them, and you see that, and you smile, and you know. <laughs> so this, is, this right. is really, really incredible. <laughs>